Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. Now in this video we're going to be checking out my brand new creation that I just released over on the workshop which is going to be my new MCAB truck. Now we're going to go over it, I'll tell you all about it, I'll show you all the features, everything that it can do and we're actually going to be doing a really cool mission today. Uh, I found over on the workshop a Sibtat uh, compatible tanker that we're actually going to be using and we've just been notified that there's been a delivery of fuel over at the actual port. So we're gonna go and drive over to the port, we're going to load up the tanker with fuel, uh, and then we have to go and deliver it over to the north terminal where it needs to be shipped off by train over up into the Arctic. So a really cool mission today to play around with, both with all the features here in Stormworks, but also with my brand new truck, which of course is going to be built with the new modular engines here in Stormworks. So first off, uh, let's have a look a little or a little walk around the truck. So the first really cool thing about this, and I've shown you guys quite a few times this in videos and also in screenshots and posts and things, but we're actually gonna have a proper look at it today. So first thing is the cab can actually go and flip up. Underneath it, you can see that we've got a 20 cylinder uh, modular engine, which is really pretty cool. This thing has got tons of power. I think I've limited it to, I think about 40% throttle. Um, so it's got tons of power to it. Uh, really nice big engine built up in here. We've also got some um, welding torches and also some firefighting equipment just in case of any emergencies. Um, and yeah, we can go and close this off. We don't actually need this up anymore. And we've also got some electrical cables and some electrical ports so we can connect it over to the actual tanker, share data, share electricity, etc. Um, and then just two fuel tanks, which is pretty cool too. At the back, uh, we've got obviously turning signals, brakes, uh, we've also got a camera for reversing reasons and then into the cab where all the magic happens. So I spent quite a long time with this cab and I think I've made it as best as I can make it. Um, in the door, you can see we've got some equipment, same thing on the other side, which is pretty nice. Let's go and jump inside. So before we actually start this up, at the back of the cab here, we've got a nice little bed. So if we have long journeys, we can sleep. We also got a little light here for reading or whatever else we need to do. We've got equipment stored all across here, plus empty equipment slots just over here. Uh, and then we have the actual seat itself. So if we do the stop start system, so it starts up, we've got a nice beautiful retro dash. Uh, this is a link in the workshop if you guys want to check that out. Uh, we've got a little map screen so we can obviously see where we're going. We can dim this if we want to, if we don't want it too bright. We can dim it. I've just got a little radio, so my just my little marine radio screen there. Uh, what else do we have? We've got our headlights at the front of the creation, so you can see beautiful headlights. Now those actually do shine down in the dark. Now, I've left all the settings open on this game at the moment. Uh, as you guys can see, if we're going to the custom menu, so daytime is off at the moment. Uh, weather we're going to leave, actually let's leave it off. Let's let Stormworks decide on the weather today. Uh, everything else is turned on as normal. Damage is turned off, I don't like damage uh, on my player. Vehicle damage is also turned off, so we don't actually end up destroying our vehicle if it ends up hitting a small little bump on the road. I usually leave that off. Uh, cool, so apparently it's decided that it wants to rain here in Stormworks today. Fantastic. Um, along with that, so we have headlights. We also got our high beam lights over there, which we'll probably need today. Uh, we've got our cabin lights. We've got heaters if it gets too cold, a little heater at the back. And we've also got a trailer connect and disconnect option over there. Cool, so we've got everything more or less set up and ready. What we're going to do now is I think let's close our door off and let's actually just move forward a bit. So we're going to just go and take our actual handbrake off and let's go and drive forwards a bit here. Cool. Okay, so we're just going to reverse up onto this and see if we can get it connected. Now, luckily enough, we've actually got a reverse camera in here. So we can just simply go and line ourselves up here. There's the connector. And there we go, we're now connected, so we can get our brakes on, reverse off. Let's get our high beam lights off, we don't need them on right now. I think the weather is okay. If it starts getting a little bit darker or if the weather gets worse, uh, we can get it connected. So the next thing we need is going to be our electrical cables. Now, I'm gonna go and get this connected, so let's go from here. Let's move out a little bit and let's go and get that connected. Okay, so we've got our electrical cable connected there. Great, and you can see we've got some ports here for actual refueling. So. We're going to now head back into our cab and we're going to take a drive over to the port where there's just been the three deliveries of fuel containers. So we've got all this connected, great. Everything's good, we should be able to just go and drive now. Yep, there we go, cool. So let's just go and line ourselves up here a bit. Cool. Oh, one thing we forgot to do is we forgot to actually go and lift the trailer legs. So let's go and get those up before we actually hit anything. Great. Luckily, we noticed that before we actually moved off too much. 
Okay, great. Let's head off now. Look at that. So we'll try and keep it on the road as much as we can. We've just got quite a big sharp turn here that we need to make, so we're going to try and make it as clean as possible. Okay, and let's keep on going. Now, obviously, this tank is currently empty, so we should be able to get quite a good top speed. Now, we're going to keep an eye on our speed. We're going to keep an eye on our fuel. We've got about 1,300 liters. I think that'll be enough for us to get over to um, the actual North Harbor. It'll be more than enough. Battery looks like it's all right, too, and also our temperature is all really nice and cool. Nice 27 degrees here. Cool, you can see some people waving at us saying, yep, here we go. Here's the delivery. So, so slowing ourselves down here. Going to start making a nice big turn because we need to try and get this lined up. Okay, it looks good. Okay, there we go. So we're going to get ourselves lined up just over here. Nice and close without hitting the pads. I think that should be more or less okay. We're going to stop just next to that person. We're going to get our brakes on. We're going to leave the truck running just because I'm worried about obviously battery and fuel and a few other things. Uh, and we need to power this tanker at the same time. So now we've done that, we can grab some hoses and let's go and get a hose connected over here. And let's get it connected to here. And yep, you can see that's draining. So let's get the next one. Get that connected over there. And let's do the third one. Now I don't know how long this is going to take us to actually get all of these full. But we are pumping currently inside. So you can see the levels over there. Definitely think it is going to take a bit of time for it to work. Cool, everything seems like it is running. Just check those on. Yep, everything's good. So I'm going to obviously wait for this to pump up. We're going to keep an eye on our battery and our fuel. I think it'll be more than fine, though. Um, and I'll meet you guys back when we are just pumping up to getting all filled up. So after waiting several minutes, we're still waiting here for the truck to, to fill up. It's taking forever. I just think it's either the pumps that are in this or it's just Stormworks that the fuel rate transfer is really slow. Um, but it's taking a long time for these to fill up, so I'm probably going to cut the fuel lines now and stop, obviously, transferring fuel because I think that's enough. I think that's all they need delivered over there for now, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, by the way, guys, if you want to check this out, I will leave a link to this trailer. It isn't mine. Uh, it's really cool. Um, really, really, really cool little trailer. I've obviously updated a little bit to have these uh, fluid hose anchors on it, but it is a really cool one. So let's jump in our truck. Uh, I can see the radiator fans are running, so which means the temperature is slightly up. Let's go and have a look and see what temperature we're at. Okay, so we're at about 30 degrees temperature. We've used not even, well, we've used hardly any fuel and our battery and everything's still running. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, well, let's go and close that off. Uh, let's get our parking brake off. Let's get our headlights back on, cabin light back on, and we can head off. What's the time currently? So it took us roughly in-game hours, what, about four hours plus minus to load that much fuel up, which is quite a lot, to be honest. Um, let's go and head off. So we're going to turn here. We're going to try and make a nice big sharp turn and try and get back on that road there. I'm going to go a little bit to the left here and let's go a little bit to... There we go. Try and stay somewhat on the road. So we've got a relatively long journey ahead of us. Uh, we obviously need to go here through the tunnel, go past the wind farm. Uh, we need to go up. I'm probably going to take a detour around through to Holt Town and then from Holt Town up to the North Harbour. And we should be pretty good. Now we're going a decent speed here. I don't want to go too fast. I'm not going to open the throttle up too much. Now this truck does have eight gears on it. So you'll notice the gears go up and down, up and down. And it's just constantly just switching the gears to be pretty much the best efficiency it can. So obviously it doesn't use too much fuel, doesn't use too little fuel, uh, doesn't run a too low to RPS, too high either. You can see the RPM there is just keeping really nice and steady. So we're going to head up. We'll probably get there around night time, I think. Hopefully we'll get there before it's midnight. And we'll see. We're probably going to throw our headlights on there too. Uphill, it should down gear itself until it gets enough power to go up that hill. And we're coming into the tunnel here. Nice. Okay. Battery and fuel looks good, about 1,280 liters, which is, I think, more than enough for ourselves to get there. Worst case scenario is that we just connect up to the tank and we take some fuel from that, but I don't think we'll need to with the amount of fuel that we have in this truck. I specifically built this truck to have quite a lot of fuel on it so that I could do quite these long hauls. 
We'll see how much we have left once we get to once we get to the north terminal. But I am thinking also of maybe doing some extra pieces for this truck, um, designing it, maybe extending it, making it like a long, you know, like making mul multiversible. Oop, oop, we just hit a bump in the road, so we're going to try and keep ourselves back on there. Okay, I'm going to try and make a little bit of a left turn here if I can. Without sliding too much. Um, so I, as I was saying, I'm, try I'm thinking of possibly doing a couple of modifications of this truck and doing a couple of different versions. Um, so maybe one that will, you know, carry cargo, one that can carry maybe containers, uh, maybe a fuel version, all built onto this base of this chassis. So it should be pretty cool. But I'd love to hear you guys' comments. Let me know if you'd like to see different versions of this truck on the workshop. At the moment, we just got this version, um, which I think is pretty cool because you can obviously tow any type of trailer you want and it being capable or compatible with the um, SIB TAT system or the SIPTAT system. Uh, you can just load any trailer you want really that they've gone and built which is the whole point i think really of having you know that system is that you can pretty much interchange any of the vehicles and they will all work with each other which is the main point i think which is really cool too so we're just coming up to the wind farm here uh and then we're going to head along we've got a little bit of a narrow stretch along the um river over there that we need to just keep an eye on uh, doing about 100 kilometers per an hour which is pretty good temperature we're up to about 40 degrees at the moment which is not bad considering we're still pulling pulling stuff and we're doing a decent speed so we're using about two liters yeah that's about fine oh, we're doing not bad really happy so far with the truck and this performance haven't had really any issues which is also good i was slightly worried the battery would get drained actually we need to take a left here someone's gonna go left towards holt and you can kind of see holton just in the far distance there one thing that I would have maybe liked to do in, in the future is you can actually can't see the mirrors. Now the mirrors have got, um, the mirrors actually are camera connected and they've got screens on them. So if you could see them, you would be able to use them as proper mirrors. Unfortunately, you can't. Just the way I've designed the truck. That's one thing I might consider changing. But you guys let me know in the comments if you think we should change those mirrors. Because you can't really see them but at least you know you if you are doing reverse at least you've got the monitor here in front of you that goes and switches into reverse which is quite useful and i've got a little quite a steep hill here so i'm just slightly worried that we're going to get the truck stuck but i think we'll be fine oh no almost in here it kind of got stuck there come on but got stuck a bit there. Okay, now we're fine. Okay, so that was a little bit just too steep of an angle for it, but it, it managed to find now. Okay, so it really is dark now. The wind seems like it's going, but at least it stopped raining. So you can see Holt Town just in the distance there. And we're going to go past Holt Town. We're going to take a right. Uh, we can probably zoom out on our map and I can ideally show you guys. Try and drive and look at the map at the same time. So we're going to go there and we're going to go up. That should work out quite well. So we'll come through here and I think we'll take the... When we get to the fork in the road, we'll probably hit right past Holt. Cool, here's the forks. We're going to head over right here. Keep our speed, keep it under control. So temperature around 42 currently at the moment. Battery's good, fuel's good, 1,220 liters. We set off with, I think, what, 1.4? So we're not bad in terms of fuel usage. Cool, okay, start slowing ourselves down a bit here. Okay, we need to take a right here. So we're going to go right here towards the North Harbour. Okay. Looks like we're good so far too. Right, let's keep it on the road here. Now, I know this area, there is some steep areas where you, if you go off the road, you can fall. So we're just going to keep an eye on the road once again. Like Euro Truck Simulator and Stormworks. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, just keep an eye on the road. So we're going to go back to first person mode. Keep an eye here. We've got another little crest here. It's hopefully I don't get the truck stuck here either.
looks good about 90 kilometers per hour this is the part I was worried about looks like we're okay yep looks like we're fine you can see North Harbor just in the distance there even on the fuel still good battery still good temperature 42 happy with that Come down, bring it into the north terminal. And we're going to deliver it down to the dock area. Just over here in the dock where we've got all the containers. Cool, make sure we don't hit it there. And bring it just over here underneath the lights. And there we go. So we're going to stop it over there. Let's get our truck in parking brake on. Let's open up the doors. Uh, let's go to the back here. We're going to disconnect our electricity because we don't need that anymore. And we can store it. There we go. And we can also go and put this down. Let's get the flashlights. We're going to put that down. Probably it would have helped if I had done that before we disconnected our electricity. Okay, there we go. And now we can bring that down. There we go. So that's down now. We can now disconnect our electricity. Go back into the truck and parking brake off. We're going to disconnect our trailer. We're going to move forwards. Probably close our door. There we go. And we can go and park our truck. And that is a delivery all done. Really happy with that. That went really well. This truck has performed perfectly for what I needed to do. We're going to just park it over here inside this little area. And get it ready for our next trip. Let's put it into reverse. Reverse camera. And forwards cool and there we go fantastic let's turn it off let's get our high beam lights off and let's jump out we'll leave the truck running for now um, while we just finish off here so guys that's it um i hope you really have enjoyed this video obviously a nice little mission where we've gone and transported some fuel around the world of Stormwork using my new truck that we just built. Um, definitely go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. I think it's really cool. I've had a lot of fun building this. I don't really build trucks here in Stormworks that often, so yeah, building it was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm really happy with performance-wise. You can see the temperature is dropping. If we turn this thing off, I think the temperature will drop even more, won't it? Yes, it will. So yeah, it does really well. It's a beautiful little truck love to hear your comments on what you guys think of it and also this mission and if you enjoyed it if you want to see more of these types of missions kind of like these more role play missions here in Stormworks let me know in the comments below as always I hope you have enjoyed this and found some entertaining informs as always and until next one we'll see you then